Welcome back to Tokyo Dark. At this time, we're going to be going through the game again a few times, as you will no doubt see. Attempting to get to uh, all the endings and all the achievements I didn't get in my main playthrough. It's plural. First time playthrough in New Game Plus playthrough. So. On that note, it's probably going to be a bit all over the place where I, uh, recording chimes back in when I find something new to show off. So there'll be, uh, new content interspersed between endings, and it's going to be recorded a little bit out of order, since I currently have a save file near an ending branch, which I'm probably going to use to get some endings. And then there's going to be a uh, full playthrough from the start, which will include missed content. Violence. Check the description if you want timestamps. I'll do my best to timestamp just about everything I can here. But on that note, let us begin. There are several achievements you can pop for this encounter with Reyna. I'm doing this in New Game Plus. So, draw a gun. Please drop the weapon and let him go. Tee <laughs> And why would I? Why would I do that? We pop the achievement bringing gun to a knife fight? Tanaka, can you hear me? Stay calm, I'll get you out of this. You don't know, you have to get out of here. Please, before. Shh, that's enough out of you. Said hands up, now. Uh, not even a hello or a long time no see, Ayami-chan? It has been a while, after all. I won't fall for that. That girl died six months ago. Oh, I did? <laughs> I wish someone had told me. Then I would have gone through all this trouble. With the spring day in Kamakura, don't you, Ayami-chan? The day you and Tanaka showed up to help that poor little shrine girl. Well, Tanaka, you wanted to help anyway. You and the other hand, you just pretended to help. But you wanted to hurt me like everyone else. No, 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 don't want to remember those things. Shh, shh, can you hear that? It's awake. It's finally awake like the day we met. I did it. Now I could bring him with me. Yeah, did I forget to mention that? I should say bye-bye because Tanaka's coming with me. Not very smart. It's confusing down there all on my own. But Tanaka will be different. We'll finally be able to find the door. And I won't be alone. If you're with him down there, it will... will let me go. <laughs> you look confused, Amy chan Don't worry. I'll be over soon. You're insane. Put down the weapon or we'll have to shoot. You say that like it's so hard for you. But you're just waiting for an excuse to hurt me again. Wherever you are, get down on the ground. Now. You know who I am. I know who you are too, Ayami Ito. Don't take orders from you. My mind raced in every direction to come up with a logical explanation for what I saw. The clothes, the hair, the mannerisms were all the same, but I still didn't believe. When she mentioned the voices from Kamakura that my defenses began to wear down, there was no way she could have known about that. I left it out of my reports, and Kazuki and I didn't talk about it. I came to accept that the girl I faced really was that same girl. A wave of deja vu rushed over me as I stared down my gun sights, the scent of cherry blossoms drifting faintly into my nostrils under the thick sewage. Was I doomed to repeat my sins over and over? Attempt to rest. Tanaka, push back. Do it now. We've practiced this technique countless times before, and even used it once during an arrest of a parole violator gone sour. Kuski would knock them down, giving us enough time to take control of the situation. No matter how out of it he was, a new instinct would kick in and give me the moment I needed to turn the tables. Just like I planned, as soon as I shouted, he sprung into action. Pushing backwards, he drove his full weight up and up, to the, up towards the girl's chest. Instead, I felt myself relax, and my heart sank. She wasn't distracted, saw him coming and shifted back, sending him harmlessly back to his knees. The dripping of rain into the sewer punctuated the silence. She stood there, looking at me. I couldn't tell if I saw sadness or anger in her gaze, but there were tears in her eyes. Then she laughed. It was as, it was as if I had looked at two separate people in the space of an instant. Her eyes bore into me, her gaze not directed at me, but through me to some other place in time. Despite the years of training and everything I'd seen, at that moment all I wanted to do was turn away and hide. 
I felt small, like I was a little girl again. But she felt my fear because at that moment she smiled. Bending over, she brought her face close to the sack that covered Koski's head. She gently whispered into his ear with the soothing tones the mother would use to comfort a child. And she drew the blade across his throat. That pops the achievement by the book. Now if we just wait... This will pop a different achievement. Stop, wait, please, you have to stop this. You could never have stopped this, Ayami-chan. I only brought you here to see it. Once again, a smile crept to her face. She kept on smiling as she drew the blade across his neck. That popped the achievement indecisive. Now this time, draw a gun. Been through this conversation before. And shoot. Knife crept closer and closer to Kowski's throat. I had no choice. It's in the academy. I used paper dummies for target practice. Printed on them was always scary looking men with scars and grizzled killers holding guns. I never gave the bad guys the face of a child. Paper targets don't bleed when you shoot them or call to their mothers when the pain overwhelms their senses. It wasn't my first time firing my weapon. I knew what would happen. I'd suffer the consequences, give up my badge, and never hold a gun again just to save Kuski. That's what I told myself anyway. The truth is, it disgusted me. Every second she spent standing there in that sewer, my mind cried out in agony, begging me to put an end to an impossibility. And then she smiled at me, and as if I was watching it through someone else's eyes, I saw her begin to slide the knife across Kuski's throat. I pulled the trigger. After that, my recollection is hazy. The girl's head twitched, and her body began to slump to the ground. Then she was gone, and Kotsky was on the ground, blood pouring from his neck. She even pops, I don't talk with dead girls. And that's it for the prologue. At any rate, we didn't do this in, our, in my live stream, but... Blat, blat. I really shouldn't do this, but oh well. There's no one around, and it seems the fastest way to get myself some bamboo. Sandy minus five, professionalism minus five. That she would unlock Bamboom. It's bamboo. Which is the broken bamboo. I can easily push the object out of the water without disturbing it. Train pass. Just like I thought it has red paint on it. Right? Go to the station, see what it belongs to. We'll see if, uh... Majva here, uh, Has any comment about what we just did. Hi. Well, I guess not. Fair enough. That's the first point where we can get an ending. And... Quite obviously, the doctor said if I keep taking my medication, things will get better. So we'll take another one. And the benefits are immediately... Doesn't matter how many of these stupid things I take, the world isn't making any more sense. Visions, hallucinations, they told me they would stop, but they're still there. I can't concentrate. Oh, that gave us a boost. What am I doing? None of it matters. Nothing changes. Now we're back to normal. For a long time, I took my meds for Kazuki's sake, but he's gone and it was my fault. I let him die. This is a very clear sign of a breakdown. We were so close to having a life together, so close to being happy. My pain, my joy, I wanted to share it all with you. But I let you down. Failed you. Oh. 
It's just hard to watch. I'm just doing it for completion. I'm sorry. Things getting better. Nothing's going to change. I wake up and I don't know what's real anymore. I failed. I can't lose control again. I can't. I don't want to hurt anyone else. I am so afraid of going crazy. I wanted to stop. My life back. Were you ever happy? Was that an illusion, too? I just want to forget about it all. Feeling drowsy. Sorry, everyone. I couldn't do it alone anymore. Kazuki, coming to see you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ayami! Hey, are you alright? I heard a crash. Can you hear me? <sighs> Sorry, it's unlocked, so... Oh god, are you okay? Get up! Ayami, get a grip! Wake up, please! Wake up! Wait here. I'll get help. Get the achievement. Lost. Gonna make me sit through it. Gonna make me suffer for what I did, game, aren't you? Yep. Make me suffer. I intentionally made the choice. Now. Oh, Mr. Lady Fluffington. Oh, you're really making me suffer now. <laughs> Loser every ounce of this suffering. I intentionally took those actions just to get this whole endings video. And I hate. I hate. <sighs> interesting. Most interesting. You're nothing but a crow, feeding on the carrion that time leaves in its wake. Hm. Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. No one had her own desires, I only gave her a little push. This is New Game Plus, so I suppose we still... that's still valid. And yet all that was achieved was despair. A death achieved in nothing. Hmm. Yes. Most unfortunate. Most unfortunate indeed. And this is the point where the conversation loops. We'll see the full conversation later on in the video, because as you'll see, uploading the endings in order of, uh, in a certain order, but I recorded these in a very different order. But next, so next up, we're going to see some more events we missed out on. Ayami chooses violence. Okay, next up on our step of uh, replaying. This is definitely going to take us a hit to our, our professionalism, but let's be the neurosis. Sir, I know you think I screwed this up, but there's more going on. I need a bit more time to make a case, is all. That's enough, detective. Till the internal hearing about your case is complete, there'll be no further discussion of this. Now please go to your office and pack away any personal items to be shipped home. Or stays with us. Ito, take care of yourself. We're gonna have some fun this time. Nose is up. Sanity is way down. We are going for a low sanity run. Nose is plus five. What do you want to talk about? Me out. Yeah. Conversation is over. We'll grind for some more neurosis. I don't think we need it though. Low professionalism means we can threaten violence. You think you're so tough, don't you, Tyra? Hey, you freaking crazy or something? Put the thing away! Not crazy, Tyra. You don't know a damn thing about what happened that night. 
Yeah, fine. Whatever you say, Ito. Damn, I told everyone you've gone off the rails, and look at this. Put it away already. You made your damn point. Fine, but next time you see me in the hall, I recommend you keep your mouth shut and start walking the other way. Holy shit. <laughs> Powerful. Fire alarm? We're not going to use the fire alarm, though. That took a hit to our sanity. We need to... If our sanity is at a certain level going into Aokigahara, that unlocks a bad ending. Which is what I'm going for this playthrough. So I'm hoping this, like, with this one playthrough, I can use my save points effectively enough to get three separate endings. Now, if we switch the cameras off, I know this will hurt you, Saki, but I need that mask and I can't have anyone seeing me. We, ab we unlock an achievement. See no evil. Now, we're going to do a bit of exploration here. Might be able to do this right away. Look. Ask to enter. Unlock the door, will you, Morty? I need to have a look through some old evidence. Um, I can't. I got a memo from upstairs that said you ha can't have access to the locker until you return from leave. If boss has found out I let you in, my head would be rolling in a flash, and I could kiss my chance to become a detective goodbye. Sorry, Ito. Can't do it. Mm, okay, so we're not quite unprofessional enough to force our way. I think the way we go about getting this next achievement is so we're going to go back to our office. And pick up the hairpin. Now, if we go back downstairs, we're just going to try and pick the lock in front of the, in front of the guard. What could go wrong, right? We've already pulled our gun on Tyra in the middle of the, in the middle of the office. Everything is fine. Pick lock. Can't exactly break in with Morty still watching me. Knock out Morty. Oh, sorry, Morty. You're a good dude. Evidence was locked away and there was no other option. I didn't take any pleasure in it, and he was out before he hit the ground. I respected Morty, but at that moment he was in my way. Oh. That'll leave a mark. That's the achievement that just popped. I think there's a, uh... Oh, shoot. There might be a Neko in here. In which case, I missed that. It's gonna do a uh, all uh, Maniki Neko run after this run. But for now, since I'm doing this run, I might as well do the bad ending to both of these quests. No, not about you. And why should they? My lowest point was that night I met you, and all you could manage was being nasty and sarcastic. You act like the world's against you because of your job, but trust me, that's not it. It's you. Ooh, harsh. All I'm saying is, if you want people to look at you differently and to take you seriously, you gotta earn it. Huh. Well, I guess there's no point in trying to change your mind, huh? Seems like you got me all figured out. Business has been in the toilet as is. And let me tell you, your little scare tactics don't mean shit to me, so why don't you piss off? Simple enough. Now let's go upset Daiso, too. Felt an absolute struggle. What's the point? This is the really badly worded choice. Because you expect try something different to be uh, change things up, and maybe you'll have more success. This choice always made me mad because it felt like it was uh, 
I, I read don't give up on your failing restaurant as struggling endlessly on something that's not uh, gonna work out or something that's in a shit location doing shit business throwing yourself endlessly into something that's not going anywhere what is the point? read this as a sort of changing your life is good but in this case you're right what's the point of trying for people who clearly don't care this this choice was way more negative than I expected with some people no matter how much you work it doesn't matter Daiso you seem like a nice guy but this job clearly isn't cutting it or making you happy restaurant business is ugly if you can't handle the stress maybe you should try something new different career are you saying I should be a salaryman in an office somewhere gee I don't know if I could do a job like that I didn't say that exactly. No, no, it's okay. No need to apologize. Maybe you're right. I'm not getting any younger. Maybe I should throw in the towel. Hey, it's not all doom and gloom. Maybe there's something else you're good at. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I'll see you around. This choice does not end well for Daiso. Wow, okay. We are insane right now. That is concerning. But, uh... You look in here, this feels like a low sanity thing. The phone, just, the phone just kept ringing and ringing. How'd she know I was going to pick up? Oh, hey, it's a detective from the other night. I wonder if she remembers me. Detective is right here. Yes, Kobayashi. It's really a choice in Kobayashi's story. It's passing through. Yep. The choice in Kobayashi's story is really if you get the key from him by reasonable means, or if you shoot the lock off. What other guy? Taito? Titus? Typhoon? Tyra was here. Hardcore. Yep, didn't play by the rules, had a drink if he wanted to, take the edge off and stuff, oh boy. Nothing bad. Yep. Super dusty in here. Thank you, I'm going to leave now. You enjoy your day. There is a Neko. That's a mannequin Neko here. Alright. Let's focus on the photo, shall we? Listen, I won't take much of your time. It's one quick question, so... Pardon me, mistress. No conversation if there's starvation. Those are the rules. Okay, so we have to order yum yum pancakes. Goodbye. It does not affect my stats all that much. What I'm trying to get at is... A point where I can start attempting these side quests. Okay, time to ruin Goto's day. We're gonna threaten him. Have you heard what they've said about me, Goto? Not the news, I mean the gossip. The juicy stuff. You must know what they said I did. What was it? Answer me, Goto! They say you, uh, maybe killed someone and, uh... Killed, huh? Do you believe them? You, you, you think you scared me? I don't believe that crap. Believe what you want, Goto? That person I killed, you know what they said I did? Where they said I did it? Down, down the well. That's right. You're so smart. Why don't you tell me why I might kill someone down there? Actually, I'll tell you. Because down there, no one would find your body. Hell, no one would even know where to look for it. You might not believe the rumors, but you know that last part is true. Let me tell you, Goto, you make me sick. Today I had business in Akihabara, and your name, no, your stink, wafts over to me again. And I find you in the same goddamn place, wallowing in your own filth as always. So right now I'm looking at that well, and suddenly I'm seeing one potential solution to my problem. Are you following so far, Goto? It, yes. It, it won't happen again. Won't take girls down here. Enough. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to stay out of Shinjuku. I'm going to stay out of Akihabara. If you don't, I will find your fat, disgusting person and bring you here again. Only next time this chat won't be so pleasant. Understand? Do. You. Understand. I, I, yes. Goodbye, Goto. Not on my watch is the achievement we get. And 
and there's one specific outcome which I want to get, because that will trigger an ending in the future. Okay, I was clicking through this screen in the cafe, and an interesting glitch has happened. I don't know how this happened, but uh, hi. You're in my personal space now. <laughs> That's a new one. Will it fix itself if I... Uh, skip through this? Okay, it will. Oh, no, now we're broken. Oh, no. This is unfortunate. What is happening? Exit. Bye. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Oh my. That's right, you know what time it is. Let's fucking shoot him! Koto's eyes went wide as I leveled the gun. Never had it occurred to him that this might happen to him. His whole life, he'd walked around like a king, abusing girls because he felt it was his right. Made sure he'd never hurt anyone again. When I came to, I saw Goto's body. The blood around him had already darkened, his corpse cold. Fucking dead. Never again. Throw body and well. I managed to drag Goto to the edge of the well, and with a final grunt, I pushed him in body making a sickening crunch on the floor on the stone below <laughs> we're doing very very well we are doing very well everything is fine everything is fine now we gotta be mean here we insist on information I'm sure the loss of uh, Samuel was really difficult, but it's really important you tell me about this collector. Sorry, mistress, but like I said, I don't think she'll be much use to you like this. This is too important. Mina, you need to tell me about the collector. I am Inyan. Where's all this hostility coming from? Don't make me ask you to leave. Push aggressively for information. Tell me a lot about the collector. I can make your life a whole lot worse than losing some damn teddy bear. You following me? Well, do you? Stop, I'll tell you! <laughs> See, that wasn't so hard. What do you know about this collector? I heard she studied fashion design in France and came to Japan. She knows everything there is to know about Akiba fashion. She designed the maid costume I have on right now. All she wanted in return was the scruffy old boy and I had my maid myself. It was an amazing deal. How did you arrange a meeting with her? Why would you want to meet her? Any anyway, I don't... I spent a lot of time outside here, promoting the cafe and things like that. Well, sometimes I noticed the signs would flicker. The images on them would change. Don't look at me like that. It's true, I swear. She shows you what you want on the sign, like an invitation to trade. Then when there's three cranes outside her shop, you can see her. Do you expect me to believe a story like that? I've heard the rumor, too. Supposedly she hired a computer whiz type to give her control over the, some of the signs around here. I think the other shop owners here don't mind because it only happens occasionally and the stories probably bring in more business than the signs themselves. Am I missing something here? How does she know what you want? She's some reclusive fashion designer, right? I bet she's got webcams everywhere so she can see what the girls are wearing to try and beat them in. It's only a small group of people who know the rumor. Anyway, so it's almost like subliminal advertising. Mina, what's wrong? No, no, it's not like that. It's not like what? It's dressed when she made for me. It was exactly what I wanted, down to the last detail. Okay, this is pretty much going the same as what we've seen so far. I had a commission, but I never told anyone the truth because I was scared. I mean, you've said enough. Please leave. I don't know who you are, thinking that you can just threaten people to get what you want. I don't think it will get you very far. I sometimes have some people around who will help escort customers out, but I don't want to call them. Just go. Made to talk. Achievement that just popped. Oh, oh shoot, I lost my, uh... Oh, I didn't lose the Mecca. We lose access to Nyan Cakes, though. Unfortunate. At any rate, we're going to dodge the sushi quest. That's about the collector.
feeding sashimi, big cat food. Force her to give information. No, no errands. I don't have time for this. You said you're feeding your cat street vendor fish and then they get shocked when they get sick? Hey, what's with you all of a sudden? Maybe I didn't make myself clear. Asking you about the collector wasn't an offer to trade and it wasn't a request. It's not a side quest. Well, that's like I said, I got my hands full and you seem like you're a cat lover, so... So what? So I have to clean up your messes for you? No, I didn't say that. Investigating the, the disappearance of someone close to me. Maybe a murder. It's a bit more important than sick cats. What? You think that the cat collector is involved? Are you crazy? Look, if it's, that, if it's that serious, I'll just tell you. Please don't make a scene in front of my customers. I am... Um, okay. I'm going to hear this story that we've heard before. Do you want to panda the cat? And you got your new kitten? Rare kitten? Remembering panda is always so hard. Look, if you don't need anything else from me, I still need to deal with Tomo and my customers. Please leave. Achievement, un Achievement unlocked? Caddy. Okay. We have been forcibly banned from the, uh... Both the Cat Cafe and the Cat Maid Cafe. You can now enter the Collector's Shop. I'll let you know if anything changes here. And now it's time to bully her to, uh... What? You again? I already told you everything I know! Besides, Tombo's still sick and I have to deal with customers, too. Tombo, stop it. Get down. As if I didn't have enough problems. I've always found Cass to be a good judge of character. Maybe I should listen to Tomo. So I was certainly wrong about you. Listen about before. Uh-oh. Save it. You need help from me, but it wasn't worth helping any exchange. Why are you here anyways? Time to cause you more problems. We just sign this. Sign? Sign what? No, it can't be. You work for Kasumi. It's not like that. You come in here holding the same contract she showed me two days ago and tell me to sign it. What does that sound like to you exactly? Yeah, I know what it sounds like, but I'm telling you, I don't work for her. And you don't care about me or the cats. That's even worse. Please, don't make me sign. <sighs> Please, you have to help me. But the money they've asked for they've asked for is out of hand. Doing well for now, but if they get their way, I'll be out of business. You have to tell Kasumi. Please, tell her that if this place closes down, all these cats, there'll be no place for them to go. Poor kitties. Be put down, I can't support them myself. I don't think animal services would let me keep them. Couldn't live with myself if that happened. Making you eat dough. Don't do this. Yeah, no, no chance to... By not doing her quest earlier, we don't even have the option to help her. Sign now. That's it? That's all you're going to say? I don't have time for this. Just sign it. I don't have time. This is, this is my life. Do you even realize what you're doing? If I sign it, all these guys will be homeless or worse. I'll lose them all. Next time, try a business that doesn't go over to the mob for help. If you don't sign it with me, someone worse is going to come next and your cats will be in even more danger than now. Give me that. There, fine, it's signed. Are you happy now? No one cares about me, they only care about themselves. But remember, it's not just me you're hurting, it's the cats too. That's on your conscience now. Get out. Go and never come back here. Not making any friends. Achievement unlocked. We are forcibly banned from the cat cafe. Understandable. Excellent. I knew you could be counted on. We're not so different, you and I. I have the feeling that there are many ways we can help each other. If your hearing doesn't go as planned, come find me. Better yet, if your hearing does go well, I could always use a few more friends in the department. Now that this business is behind us, remind me again what you were after. I want to speak to Omega's company president, Higashi, about a girl signed to his agency. And that's that. We have now started work for our best girl, Kasumi. Okay, next up on our violence run 
is to punch out this guy. Majora. Use violence. Pop. Oh. Ito, what are you doing? Is he going to be okay? He'll be, he'll be up again in a few hours. Why did he stop us like that? He's never done that before. Still, you shouldn't have done that. He'll be fine, let's go. Wait, we can't just leave him here. What if he's hurt? All right, let's go. He may not be the only one who wants to stop us. But, fine, let's go. See, in this path, it makes sense for... My to, uh... Chastise us for the way we acted. Gentlemen. Let's see what happens here. Oh shit, you gotta be kidding me. Funny, me and some of the other guys were just talking about you after practice the other day. Specifically, we were talking bets to how long it would be before you showed your face again. Shame, you coming in here now cost me 10,000 yen. Not that it matters. Ever since you left, things have looking up for me. When the last department kendo tournament and I've been enjoying my promotion. Oh yeah, thanks for the new office, by the way. Anyway, no one active duty cops, or you in other words, although they ain't allowed in HQ right now, so what do you want? Hmm. Could tell him to go to hell, because we're not professional. I need a favor. It's getting better and better. Yep. Should you consider bad luck for people's careers? Well, myself excluded, I suppose. Yep. Threatened with violence. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, stop. We've hit our breaking point. Achievement unlocked. What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay where you are, Tyra. You too, Saki. Ayami! Shit, you really are as crazy as they say, you know that? If you think I'll keep this quiet, you're wrong. Shut up, Tyra. Saki, I need you to do exactly as I said. Sure, Ito, whatever you say. Go and look up a file for me. What file? On March 4th, 1996, there was a raid on a compound belonging to a cult called the Kamenkai. I need a copy of the police report and anything else on record. It's going to take me a little while to run the search, so don't do anything rash, Ito. Please. Hell, you're serious, aren't you? If you should put down the gun, we can talk about it. Two adults, detective to detective. Guess you don't see me as a detective until a gun's to your head, huh? You always were lousy at dealing with people, Tyra. March 4th, 1996, I found it. Ito, but I can't protect you this time, Ayami. Why would you do something like this? This isn't the Ayami I'd know. There's no way I can look the other way with this. You know that, don't you? I know. We've already gone too far. Copy that report onto a USB and place it on the counter. Tyra, get down on your knees. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you if you stay put. No sudden movements. Don't try anything. Trust me, I know all the tricks a lot better than you do. I'm going to grab the USB off the counter and leave. That's it. Don't come after me, Tyra. Ito, you stormed into a police station, held a detective and a staff member hostage, and stole files. Exactly what outcome do you expect here? I won't come after you now, but someday the cops will catch up to you. Someday soon. Tyra's right, of course. There's no way I'm staying a free woman for long. How this will all end, I don't know. But I know they won't catch me. I know how this department works too well, and its deficiencies. If I keep moving and don't stay in one place too long, I'll be alright. For now, at least. I got what I came for. I need to move. Whew. Do we get a save point here? I'd really appreciate a save point. <laughs> we are very corrupt and very not sane. We cannot take our pills anymore. Might be too far gone. Oh god, what? It's supposed to be... Oh god. He's been accepting it somehow. Oh my god. Let's glitch again. Everything normal. 
Tag. Oh god. Exit. Do that again. That's gonna part to play in these twelve people's deaths. I happen to the common Kai. Go to the Kawanam. Okay, we need to take some pills. This will bump us down to 90. We really need some... ...to do this, but I know there's one... Or where it kinda I don't know if that's enough to get through. Well, it will have to do. Alright. We might this might be a two playthrough run. But we're gonna see what we can get out of this ending. Okay, I know we take a whole bunch of sanity hits here, but let's see if we have enough to make it through. What's that noise? No, 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 not now. Why here? Leave me alone. Don't know if we have enough to make it through. Oh god. Playing in windowed is really glitchy. I feel like that's what is causing all these strange uh, bugs and all that jazz. Oh, jeez. Here we go. hits. Let's get together. Might make it through. Jesus Emma. I'm in uncharted territory here, hence why I'm sticking around here. And now we wake up.
Oh shit, I was still recording then. Just an update, I built my... No, what am I doing? It's, uh, this is a mess. I built myself below 90, and that got me through Aokigahara. So, we'll save that particular path for another go. Oh, this is new. Hello. Ayami, thank god you picked up. Saki, what do you want? Well, I probably shouldn't even be calling you. Especially after what you did. How could you do that to me? I've been so scared in my life. I really thought you were going to shoot me. I'm sorry, Saki. I never meant to hurt you. You have no idea how important that case file was to me. Yeah, well, consider this my last favor to you. All right, I guess I deserve that. Why'd you call then? It's Tyra and Mori. I've heard them talking about you. They said some terrible things, and I can't... How with it, Saki? Ayami, they said you killed someone. A man named Goto. You went missing, and they said you were asking around about him. People saw you together. It looks really bad. Mori said they already have more than enough to arrest you, and Mori's not someone to go after you with a, for no reason. We did punch him out. I don't know how exact, exactly where they're headed, but they're not in the city. They said they were retracing your steps, heading south. Kamakura, maybe? <sighs> Thanks for the warning. Ayami, it's not true, is it? You'd never do something like that, would you? I have to go. Thanks again, Saki. Now we're even. Hope they don't hear about you on the news. This is goodbye, Ayami. Friendship has officially ended with Saki, and once again, she has won favor for us. We're going to go to Kamakura anyways, to fess up for our crimes. We have a very convenient save point to learn from. Knowing all I do now, it's surreal to be standing here again. My own history and the history of the mask intermingling in one place. So much violence and death. But since I took it from the evidence room, my life has been spiraling out of control. Pursuing its past has made me give up any scrap of decency I had any claim to. Any claim to my soul. It was for the greater good. I have a shot at redemption by purifying it and erasing its dark stain from our world. The Kiwanas are at the shrine, but something is odd. It feels like I'm being watched. That's far enough, Ito. What the hell is this, Tyra? You brandish your gun in a police station, threaten me and Saki, and expect to just walk free after that. Poor Saki's been pulled from the front desk. She was so shaken up. I've heard doing some admin work for me instead. Oh, and if you're still holding your gun, I'd put it down if I were you. That's not why we're here, though, is it now? Is it, Morty? Hi, Morty. Sorry about punching you out. Morty, what are you doing here? Oh, right. Forgot to explain that part. See, it seems that Morty's been doing a lot of unsupervised overtime. What, pray tell, the subject of his newfound devotion to work? I'll let you take that one, Morty. You, Detective Vito. Listen, Morty, I'm sorry about what happened at the police station, but it was for something more important than me or you. Can you hear yourself right now? Was stealing evidence part of your important mission? I could have reported you then and there, but I didn't, because I had to know why. I guess it would have been too much to think we were friends, but I always respected you, Ito. Never thought you'd do something like that. It wasn't like you at all, so I started looking more closely at your case starting with, starting with October 2nd, the night of Tanaka's death. You went to a hostess club for information. All that's in my report already. This is a waste of time. Get out of my way. All that after a few drinks, too. I heard something similar from a kid in the area. It seems you were right on a right tear around the town that night. Not exactly befitting of a great detective, if you ask me. They're even going to try and deny it, huh? Not so high and mighty now, are we? Later, you went to Akihabara and talked with some teenage girls. What'd you talk about? I was pursuing some local rumors. I wasn't on the clock, so it's none of your damn business. Eh, well, normally I wouldn't really give a damn what weird things you chose to do on your time off. It changes things a bit when it ends up relating to criminal investigation, though. Anyway, you talk to these teens, and coincidences of, coincidences of coincidences, they know this Goto guy. Hell, they even know where he is. What a stroke of luck. One loose end of your little crime spree just happens to fall right into your lap. What exactly are you implying? Please, Ito, don't try and lie. For everyone's sake. That's the best part. I already know how this ends up, and guess what? I was right. You're just as crazy as I said. You killed Goto. After I talked to those girls and read your report, I knew exactly where to look. He was preying on little girls, Morty. He said he liked them young. 
Hell, Ito, if we killed every salaryman who had hard on for high school girls, there'd be quite the body count, huh? You could have told me. Let me help you for once. Oh, Mori, don't beat yourself up. I'm not sure if she's as concerned about the well-being of the city's adolescence as she says. Now, I think that Ito really wanted an excuse to kill Goto, the last person who could have proved what she did to Tanaka. You bastard, Tanaka has nothing to do with this. I didn't kill him. Oh, right, because the noble detective Ito doesn't kill people, is that right? <sighs> don't have to be a brain surgeon to follow my logic, do ya? Honestly, I didn't want to believe any of it, about Goto or Tanaka. Probably don't think it's true, but at first I only wanted to help you. I knew, thought I knew, that you'd never do those horrible things. Guess I was wrong. It's not what it looks like. I can't let you stop me, Mori. There's more to this. Hear that? She can't stop. I'm here to finish off that Kawana girl because she knows something incriminating, too. Oh, my mistake. You're a protector of the innocent, so I guess you'd kill the old woman instead. We can't let you continue any further. Sorry. There are other police surrounding us. There's no way out. I'm sorry it turned out this way. Hey, get away from me. You don't know what you're doing. Stop struggling, Ito. It's over. No, you don't understand. If you don't let me go, things will get worse. You have to let me go. Ito, what happened to you? In jail. Tried to do what was right, destroy the mask and put an end to everyone's suffering. Instead, they stuffed me in a jail cell while lawyers and other police lied to discredit me. For what? For Goto? That scum deserved to die. They regret his not disposing of his body better. Those idiots Tyra and Morty don't understand what they've done, what's really at stake. What does his life weigh in comparison to the mask? Everyone thinks I'm crazy because they haven't seen what I've seen. If only they knew how wrong they were. A lot of times I see detectives, people I used to work with, come down to the cells looking at me out of the corner of their eye, trying to catch a glimpse of me like I'm an animal in a cage. Where is it now? I wonder if they've seen the things I have, if they see Kazuki and Reina in the tunnels. If they do, they'll find me and they'll know I wasn't crazy. The other day I overheard a detective talking about yet another murder in Shinjuku. This is said it was a young girl. Only they'd listen to me. What happens if she finds where it is? What happened to Tanaka? Sometimes I wake up in those tunnels, and I can still see him there. Maybe it's the jail cell that's the nightmare, the tunnels are the truth. I have to get out of here. For his sake and everyone else's, it's the only way. Cheap and unlocked, reap what you sow. I was going to say, I would have been real mad if I wasn't recording right now. Interesting. Most interesting. You know nothing but a crow, a feasting on the carrion that time leaves in its wake. Hm. Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. The woman had her own desires, I only gave her a little push. The human mind is a funny thing, isn't it? Let's be seeking to rationalize what it doesn't under what it doesn't understand. Lashing out at that which doesn't fit into its worldview. You speak of Ito. Or her captors? Neither. Both. Hard to say. There are other paths that lead from this. The only tapestry we see is hers. Other paths that lead from this, aka... <laughs> you could, in theory, have a sequel tie-in. Where someone else discovers the mask and... Consults Ito in prison. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry, pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance, and that's our cue to move forward. Now when we go to Shinjuku, we should be able to see the bad endings of each character outcome here. I don't think we actually popped the achievement for either of Miho's uh, endings here. Oh, it's you, here to rub your nose in my failures for old time's sake. No, I doubt I'm one to comment on anyone's failures. I can't exactly argue with you, with you there after everything I've read about you. Huh, but you're surprised I read at all. Well, lucky for both of us, you won't have to deal with me the next time you randomly decide to come in here again. Why's that? This place is the pits. I'm moving on. First you show up and all that weird shit happens. Then Goto goes missing suddenly. People are saying someone might have killed him. 
I believe it. There's some bad groups operating around here lately. The place feels like death lately. Got a weird vibe. Listen, maybe you should... Shut it. I helped you with your little investigation already. I'm done listening to you. you made yourself pretty clear on what you think about people like me. The other week, a girl named Kasumi came in here asking me if I wanted a different job. Oh, no. It was my first choice, but considering everything that's happening, it might be worth a shot. Kasumi? Couldn't be. Yeah, I ain't stupid. I know who she is. And you still think it's a good idea? <sighs> Doesn't matter, does it? This type of work is all I'm good at. But... What, you gonna judge me some more? Tell me what I'm supposed to do? You don't know anything about me. Don't be an idiot. Kasumi would on won't only make you serve drinks. You think I don't know that? Get out of here and mind your own damn business. There's no point pretending to give a shit about me now. Now get out. Say hello to Kasumi for me is the achievement for Miho's bad ending. And now for the choice I regret the most. We didn't actually check on them the first time, but... I'm so sorry. Empty as always. And Daiso doesn't seem to mind. Hey Daiso, are you sleeping on the job? You should really turn on some lights in here, I can barely see. Daiso? Though it was quiet as always, this time the silence was unusual. Too complete. Every creaking step I made, every drip of the faucet echoed on the empty walls. The only sounds came from lifeless things. Despite the connection I'd created approaching him, Daiso didn't react. The motion I created. As soon as I saw the bottle next to him, I knew what he'd done. Daiso. To come could, I thought I'd thought of it myself, but I always had Kazuki or Lady Fluff to stop me. Daiso had no one, and so took his poison in the silence with no one to stop him. Nobody had been to his bar to find him, so he quietly went to sleep and never woke up. Find the bar. He folded was a small note. Carefully, I picked it up and read it. I tried. Something up my life. That's all I have to show for it. I tried. Years I pursued a passion. I opened a business. I got married. I did everything people say you're supposed to do to be happy. Still, my passion failed. Business failed. My marriage failed. Everything I was given to be happy, I wasted. So I guess the problem is with me. I'm sorry for the burden that this will put on my wife and my daughter. I doubt my girl remembers me, but I'm sorry I couldn't be a father to her. Now that your father tried. Goodbye. I folded the note as it was and placed it next to him. What did he expect to read it, I wonder? A long while I sat at the bar. No one came. Eventually I went behind the bar to make an anonymous call to the police. I couldn't bear the thought of no one finding him for days. I'm sorry, Daiso. Wherever you are, I hope you're not alone. Too late. That's the achievement for Daiso's bad ending. <sighs> this guy also gets a bad ending, but I don't really care about him. Is the problem. How's it going? Sadness. Like, never-ending sadness. Um, so bad? They dug this job, too. Really felt it was the next step up the ladder, you know? Did you quit? Quit? I would quit this sweet gig. No, man. Uh, sir, I got fired. After you and that other cop came here, everyone wanted to talk to me. The manager said I was a disgrace. Whatever that means. Especially after they found that weird stuff in the dumpster with a broken lock. I, I'm sorry to hear it, kid. Oh, like, what was me? How the mighty have, have fallen. Well, I guess this guy's gonna hit the road. Like, see the country, you know? You're leaving Tokyo? Huh? No, man, I'm gonna go to, like, Shibuya or something. I'm gonna go after my lifelong dream of becoming one of them guys who hands out tissues and flyers to people. Seek your passion. Sky's the limit. Oh, I better get back to work. I thought you said you were fired. Well, yeah, but I still gotta finish up, you know? Later. Take care of yourself, kid. Shibuya is a whole world away. The achievement that we've popped here. Back into the dark we go. For one more ending. As I trudged through that oppressive, lonely place, I slowly became a someone of some aware of someone else. The dark woke up and began to breathe ragged, harsh breaths, and, and inside of me a dread welled up, threatening to burst out. Once I realized the familiarity of that feeling, and I was surprised at what I found, Reina. 
sitting there like a trapped animal, muscles tense like she might spring at any moment. Dark, I wasn't scared of her. She was as trapped as I was and just as powerless. We were equals. She rose as she saw me, looking at me with that unnerving, unblinking stare and wearing that smile that haunted me for so long like a death mask. She was the cause of it all, all my suffering. I put an end to it, one way or another. Forget and confront. So you went anyway, even though I told you to leave me alone. I couldn't just forget and leave me alone. Uh huh. So that's it. <laughs> you want to keep hurting me, right? <laughs> Hate to burst your bubble, but if it's revenge you after, it won't work. Nope. Can't blow my brains out down here. The dark won't let you. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Did you bring your little gun all the way down here for nothing? Are you disappointed? No, there's no point in bringing a gun to a place like this. It wouldn't solve anything. It didn't last time. That you thought you got rid of me the last time, huh? Too bad. You'll have to talk like old friends instead. <laughs> but everything I tried, I think that you would be the one to show up here in the end. Funny, isn't it? Isn't it? After all, you were only supposed to be a guest star on my little show, a little temporary addition to loving things up a little bit. Then you kept showing up uninvited, digging up every sharp thing you can find to poke me with. Now I can't get rid of you. See? It is funny, right? No matter what we do, we're forced together again. We ought to make the best of it. You're right. We can't avoid each other forever. Fate's forced us together, so all we can do is see it through to the end. Even when I saw you in the forest, you were down here, weren't you? Where else? Welcome to the end of the line. You didn't even try to go up to the surface again, did you? You're pathetic. After everything you put me through, you stayed here, hiding from the right, from the light. Why would I go back? What would be the point? When I do, I look around and don't even recognize it anymore. The streets are different. The sounds have changed. Everything that everyone I knew and every ever cared about is gone. I don't know what it's like. Every day the same. I'm feeling all my old pain again and again and again. People don't change. No matter what, no matter how much time they, how much time goes, they all still look at me like I'm a flea bitten dog to be kicked around and ignored. They hate me. At the end, I'll end up back here anyway. So I fight it. At least down here, nothing changes. When I was little, they said everything would be okay if I had the mask. But then Mommy died, and the police took it away from me, and nothing's gone right since. No one ever cared about me. The police, the foster homes, the other girls in the agency, they all hated me. They wouldn't be dead. Just like the rest of them, only someday you'll grow old and die, and I'll still be here, unless you give me that mask. Isn't that simple? Having the mask isn't going to solve your problems. It is that simple. Everyone always tells me it can't be simple, but why not? None of this would have happened if you weren't, it weren't for you. If you'd just given it to me in the first place, you could have lived your stupid little fantasy life. Instead, you had to be a hero and get involved in something that was none of your business. Why shouldn't I use it? My problem's not as important as yours. That's it, isn't it? Everything's about you and making your life happy again. I won't let you be happy. I won't. If you won't help me, then fine. I keep hurting you. If you think it's bad now, you don't know the half of it. You give it to me and go on pretending to be happy while I find the door again. Again? You've seen it before. Well, exactly what you think is going to happen when you find it. Everything I've found tells me it's dangerous. No, you're wrong. The door isn't for you. The collector said so. Instead, I had the basket and find it again. Instead, if I found a shrine belonging to Kawana, I, then I could find it. So you met him too. Raina, he wasn't trying to help us. He must have been toying with us. Shut up! You don't know anything. He told me the mask would let me see the door again. Just like... Just like the day Mommy died. When they put the mask on me, and I kept my eyes closed like Mommy told me to. Even when people started getting sick and crying. Then I saw it. The door. Even when with my eyes still closed. I looked at it. I heard Mommy's voice. And I knew if I found it, everything would be okay. I opened my eyes and it was gone. I took the mask and I saw Mommy on the ground. She wasn't moving anymore. Like a doll. It was all my fault. It must have been. I did something wrong. But he told me if I found the mask, I'd make it right again. Now I'm being punished for being a big screw-up, for not being pure like they told me to be. Except people like Higashi. They shouldn't have hurt me. They should have left me alone. I had to punish them. I just want to stop them from hurting me. That doesn't make me bad, right? You understand, don't you? Understand? You chose to hurt people. You slit Tanaka's throat. You tried to kill me. I wanted to hurt that Kawana girl the first time I laid eyes on you. When Tanaka was chasing you, he was chasing after the blood trail you left behind. 
You can act as innocent as you want, but that doesn't change what you've done. You dragged me and Tanaka into your little personal hell, and that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that it's all I have left. If I can't find him down here, then it was all for nothing. I didn't want to hurt him. It was the only way to bring him here. The same way I was brought here. The only way? Look at me, Reyna. I'm down here. You can see me, right? Did you have to slit my throat? I'm... I'm sorry. No, you don't get to apologize. Not now. Tanaka deserved better than that. I mean, she genuinely didn't know. Where is he? You brought him down here, so tell me what you know. I don't know where he is. What do you mean you don't know? I can't play your games anymore, Reyna. I've had enough. Maybe I don't get exactly what's happening, but everything in my life has gone to hell since you came into it. Stop! Please! Why isn't he with you now? Nothing's gone the way I thought it would. I went back to Shinjuku. I, I remembered how he ended up in the dark. I knew what I had to do, so Tanaka could be with me. Only the mask wasn't awake. It wasn't loud like in Kamakura. So I made you come into the tunnel with me and Tanaka so it would wake up. I set his throat right before you. You sent me back. I woke up. Tanaka was next to me. We were together, but the mask was gone. He was alive. He was like me. I thought he was. First he seemed okay, but then he started wandering around, staring into space and talking to people who weren't there. Poor Tanaka. I think I broke him, Ayami-chan. So he was down here. Tell me where he is. You don't get it, do you? I don't know where he is, and I don't care. Tanaka abandoned me. Even when he was here, he kept mumbling on and on about how he was going to help you. He gave you something, didn't he? A traitor. How else would you be able to keep finding me? He even said he saw the door. But he didn't take me there. I hate him. Why did he leave me? I think Tanaka would help a stupid little girl like me. It was dumb to try and bring him here. The collector said I'd find the door with the mask. I just didn't want to be alone, is all. Now you're here, so I guess the mask is too. I didn't need him after all. He's gone. You're wrong. I can feel him somewhere here. He's waiting for me. You can? Maybe he's at the door. Please, take me there. Don't leave me. The mask opened the dark and took me straight to Reyna, and now that I'm here, I can feel it, pulsing like a heartbeat. The door. The noble place where chance and fate have no importance. That's where Kazuki is. I understand now what will happen if I bring Reyna through it. She will cease to be. I will tear her limb for limb. There's no other way to make sure she'll never hurt anyone again. Her extermination would be finally give me closure for what she's put me through. If I did that, the dark would change shape again and any hope I had of finding Kazuki would be lost. Whatever's left would be trapped here, waiting for me. There's no time left. I have to choose. Destroy, Reyna. You've ruined so many lives and caused so much suffering. If I let you go, the whole cycle will only start over again for someone else. What are you saying? Not bad. All I wanted was, all I wanted was to be normal. For people to like me. Everyone betrayed me. They used me. I did what I had to do to survive. I know I screwed up, but it wasn't all my fault. It wasn't. You're right. You really believe that, don't you? But we're not professional. We are, uh... Yeah. What happened to you? I can't take that pain away from you. No one could. It's what you chose to do with that pain. Kill people. Destroy lives. And that was your choice. That I can't forgive. Maybe once there was something worth saving against you, but you're not a girl anymore. Only the husk of one. No, that's not true. Chaka wanted to help me. He wouldn't want this. What would you know? I loved him. You didn't even know who he was. You brought him here, then you abandoned him because that's all you can do. You move through whatever it is your existence is and leave bodies in your wake. You don't even care, do you? No, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that, Ayami. You have to listen to me. I'm so sorry, Kazuki. I'm sorry I let her take you here, and I'm sorry you're alone. Oh god. Oh god. You want to see that door so badly? I'll take you there myself. I'll give you the same chance you gave him. No. No, you can't do this. Wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to help me. Please, Ayami, please. I don't want to hurt anyone. Stop. Please. I don't care what you want, Reyna. This is what you deserve. This is all I can do to make it stop. No, stop. Please. Don't do this to me. Please. Please stop. Mommy. Mommy, help me. 
He won. Please. No. Please, please, please don't do anything. Not like this. Ayami, don't leave me like this. God, I feel bad. I feel very bad. This is so... This is quite the fucking path. The one thing I learned from this is that professionalism is very important. It had ceased to be a girl long ago. The shell of the girl in front of me, unaware that her mind had rotted away. She resisted, lashing out and biting like a rabid animal, trying to find something else to sink her claws into. Make sure she couldn't hurt anyone again. Without Reina, I doubt I could have found the door. With her in my grip, the mask pulsed and gathered me there, as if it wanted her gone from the world as much as I did. It appeared, and she grew quiet, as if the piece of her that was human awoke and recognized what punishment was in store for her. She began to beg, plead with me to let her go. She opened her mouth to squeak out some final plea. I threw her in. Her screams violently pierced the, pierced the silence, then quickly turned to nothing, just as quickly. I felt any sympathy had died with her. I felt nothing. I thought I'd rid the world of something that didn't belong. The dark remained even after it destroyed her, but became thicker, agitated and expansive like it was growing. For it felt like days that became lost in the inky shadows, the light retreating from me at every step. In the darkness, I swore I could still see Reyna's unhinged smile. Even after I emerged, I could still see it behind my closed eyelids. Reyna was gone, but the mask didn't quiet after her destruction. If anything, it grew more restless. I threw it into the sea near Kamakura, but just like the old Kawana woman told me it would, it found me several months later. As if it were meant for me. And it took other things into oblivion with her. It was of a man called Kazuki, of a love we once shared. Something she did to him. In my apartment, there were pictures that I... Pictures that I knew were him. All I saw was the face of a stranger. I left that place as soon as I, soon after I returned. I able to find any peace there. Some nights I wake up shaking, remembering a search for something and seeing that unfamiliar face sadly looking back at me from the dark corners of my dreams. On those nights I find myself gripping the mask, listening to its whispers. Maybe it can tell me what I'm looking for, what it all means. Raina never understood what the whispers were saying, but I can hear them just fine. I know what I have to do. We got revenge. Oh boy, did we get revenge. Oh boy. Interesting. Most interesting. You're nothing but a crow, beating up a carrion that time leaves in its wake. Hm. Forgive me for not being an impartial observer of human suffering. The woman had her own desires, I only gave her a little push. You are a connoisseur of history, are you not? Hatred, revenge, conflict, all core to humanity. A girl descends to the darkness, develops herself in it, Use it to extract exact vengeance. How fitting. How fitting indeed. For one who has such an interest in mankind, you understand so very little about them. No, but you're wrong, my old friend. I, too, understand everything about them. Every dark impulse. Ah, but it does make for a nice little story, doesn't it? Death and vengeance and blood. Violent species doomed to violent ends. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry pushed and formed to a picture by the forces of fate and chance. And now is my cue to move on. This is the conversation that got, uh, glitched out earlier. I don't know. I thought if I got hard evidence or something on paper, the confusion would go away. What I thought when I heard the mask, hell, the mask isn't supposed to be real. But twelve people died in the cult that had it. Rain is mixed up in it somehow. It's a coincidence. It has to be. Historian talked about cults and rituals, but cult people in cults believe anything. That doesn't explain what I've seen. Enough. I want the truth. I want to rest, and this only makes it more confusing. Keep going. I have to keep going. It seems strange now, but you'll find the truth. Find something. Anything. Find the truth. Make everything normal. There is truth in here. Two kids and an adult got out. That matches what Ta Takashi said. Why is the location of the cult secret? It's all being covered up. They don't want me to find it. Find the truth one way or another. That's definitely a low sanity outcome. Moving along. Okay, so I meant I meant to record my way going my way through the forest the first time because I have 
very low sanity. But fortunately, unfortunately, I didn't actually remember to unpause the recording. But fortunately, nothing changed. So I can only presume that once I pick up this... What is this? I feel strange, like I'm back there again. We'll see this one more time. The way that smile widens, that is fucking creepy. Oh, minus 100 sand. <laughs> okay, that was fucking... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. When did I... Reyna? Reyna? Impossible. Can't be. That was rude with a new hit song. Look for me. No, no, that's wrong. Hello, Yami. You're looking well today. Have you eaten? No, you always bring me food these days, neighbor. It's been a big help. Neighbor? Oh, you mean because I'm downstairs. Well, I suppose that makes us neighbors, doesn't it? Well, looking after you is my job, after all. I could whip something up. Yami, do you know a pop star called Ruby? Ruby? Yami, yeah, you know we can't talk about her or that police detective. Not after what happened. After what happened? What are you talking about? I don't remember. Making an appearance after the show for fans in Shinjuku. Uh-oh. Gun. Ah, that was so crazy. I'm surprised you managed to slip away. Thanks for being patient with me, Mr. Detective Tanaka. I told you before, just Tanaka is fine. And it's no problem at all, actually. It's been kind of exciting. I think I should make the most of this assignment. Plus, it's not all bad being attached at the hip with such a beauty. Oh, no. Hey, don't tease me. Come on, let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Nothing good ever happens in this part of town. <laughs> I think the big brave Tanaka would get freaked out by a little back alley. Besides, you're being so dramatic. It's not so bad. In fact, I think my first manager's apartment was around here somewhere. Being here again, it's kind of nostalgic. Well, this is a very different series of events. Reminds me of simpler times. Things were so different my biggest concern was booking the next gig. Now look at me, hiding out with the police. <laughs> I must sound like I'm not ungrateful. Sounds pretty noble to me. Hey, I think I heard someone. We better get going. Or is this a very different series of events? Please have not issued a statement concerning the alleged affair between Pop Idol managers. I've yet to comment, but photographers have. Oh no, they're lying. You'd never do that. Not with her. It's okay, Tanaka. These idiots on TV don't know the real you. Not like me. See, I'm a good detective just like you. I'll find you and save you from her. Once I rescue you, we'll be, to we'll be together. Forever. Oh no. Nothing will break us apart. Hold on, Tanaka. I know it's hard, but everything will be better soon. Oh no, what happened here? Thanks for meeting me here. This all got a little out of hand. Plus, I think we need to talk. Doesn't matter now. It's all gone to shit. They pushed me down to a desk job. I got kicked out of my house. Tanaka? Hmm? That girl over there, is she press? Why won't you leave us alone? Reyna, there's no need for that. We're just talking, right? Get away from her. Tanaka, tell her to go away. Tanaka! Tanaka, it's okay. You've trapped because of that girl. It's her fault. Don't worry, we're partners, remember? I'll save you. It's the only way. Hey, there's no need for that. Why don't you give that gun back to me and we'll, we can talk? Shh, shh, Tanaka, I have to save you. Can't you see that? Save me? From her, from that horrible girl. They said terrible things about you, but they're lies. All lies. You never do something like that to betray me. What did she do to you? Who are you? I don't know you. And who are you talking about? Reyna? Listen, what I do is my own business. Is that what this is all about? 
You're one of her fans. Wait, you're you're her, aren't you? You're that stalker. No, 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 shut up. Tanaka, 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 Tanaka. The detective moniker is gone. I love you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's Yumi. We can't talk about her or Tanaka anymore, remember? Doctor's orders. T Yumi, why would you say that? He's my partner. Uh, flashing? This fantasy of being a detective. It won't get any better if you keep indulging it. Besides, it's better this way, neighbor. You were always coming back so late. Stomping around and singing all the time. <laughs> Sorry, Yumi. I can't help it. It's my job. Yami, mean, I know it's hard, but it's not real. The medication will help. Medication? Tanaka said it would make the visit the vision stop. Yami, mean, Tanaka's gone. Don't you remember? Oh boy. Inmate Ito Ayami. That's right. How silly of me. It's in the dark. I have to save him. Oh, and it's gone. It's okay. I'm on the case. No need to worry. I'll get you something to eat. And your bed's okay. Hang tight. After all, you're my special project now, neighbor. Have to be careful. Can't let her stop the investigation. Don't worry, Kuski. Coming to save you. Nothing is real. Ending unlocked. Well, that was a fucking ending. Holy shit. Interesting. Most interesting. You know nothing about a crow. Feeding on the carrier in that time leaves in its wake. Hm. Forgive me for not being an impartial spectator of human suffering. No one had her own desires. I only gave her a little push. And yet one pushes on the human mind hard enough and it inevitably breaks. Even Shichijo, strong as she was, eventually succumbed to madness. Perhaps, perhaps, but a view through a cracked window, however obscure, it is still a window to the truth, is it not? Yes, there is some truth hidden within, but maybe not of the nature you speak. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry, pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance. Indeed it is. Let's approach this with a bit more professionalism next time. That's right, I'm splitting the All and Things video into two videos. Get ready. Because this will be a lot less violent next time. It'll be a lot less violent, a lot more emotional, and a lot more... yeah. Next time on Tokyo Dark. Until then. Until then.